Okay, welcome back. In the previous video, what we showed was how to get the transition probability matrix to depend on the cycle. And we used these lines here to fill out that array with all of the values that we needed. And we've managed to calculate the state membership over time. And I've also shown you a way that you can plot that in R. Now what we want to do is to have the payoffs, so the costs and the qualities being accrued in each cycle spent in each state, we want to adapt these so that they are now time varying. Okay, so instead of having a matrix like we had before, we're going to change this to be a three dimensional array. So let's change that to an array. At the moment, I'm just going to say these are all going to be full of NAs because I'm going to fill them in later. Like before, I can't say the number of rows and columns like we would in a matrix command. Instead, I have to supply this dim argument for the dimensions. And I want a payoff for each of the states. I have two payoffs. I've got costs and qualities, and then these are varying over the number of cycles. Okay. So, I also need to update my dim names. So what we're going to have is we'll keep the state as we had it. We'll keep the payoff as we had it, but we're going to add another one, which is the cycle. Okay, so if I run this, so I hit control enter, to run the line that I've currently got the cursor on, and then that will automatically put it down in the console and run it. If we look at that payoffs array, we now have for each cycle, a little matrix that says, here's the state and here's the payoff. That's looking good. So, but the problem is it's all full of NAs at the moment. We need to start filling it up. So. We can say, for example, the payoff of being in the healthy state, and we mean the cost payoff, so one is going to refer to the first payoff, which is cost. So the cost of being in the first state, which is healthy, is 10. And we can carry on and say, for being in the healthy state, the qualities, per cycle are 0.95. And we can go on and on and we can write this out. It is going to start taking out quite a lot of lines and we can be a bit more efficient about it. So instead of doing it like that, we're going to provide it with these six values that we've got here. So the, the payoffs in each column, the states in each row, we're going to provide these in a single line. So for cycles one to 10, we're going to work columns first. So we'll go down the column before we move on to the next one. So in the healthy state, the cost is 10. And then we're staying in this cost column and the cost in the diseased state is 800 in these cycles. And the cost in the dead state is zero. Okay, then we move on to the qualities. The qualities in the healthy state are 0.95. The qualities in the diseased state are 0.65. And then the qualities in the dead state are zero. And let's just run that line so that you can see what it's managed to do. So we've only changed for cycles one to 10. So we've still got NAs for all of the ones that aren't cycles one to 10. But now you'll see that we've filled out that cycle one to 10 slice of this array. Perfect. We'll do the same thing with the others. Uh, so these are just the same lines. All we've done is updated the values because it's changing over time. Brilliant. So the payoff trace now, we can't just calculate it in one go. We have to do this, we have to do a for loop like we had before for calculating the state membership. 
So, scratch that. Instead, let's have an array. We want it to be a two-dimensional array, so we could just call this a matrix if we wanted. Um, but our first dimension is going to be the cycle, so that each cycle will be a row in this array, and each payoff will be a column. So there are two payoffs of interest. So we've got those as our second dimension. Those dim names are going to be the cycle, and then the payoff. Okay, run that line. Let's look at what that payoff trace array looks like, just to check that it's doing what we want. We've got, as I said, a column for the costs, a column for the qualies, and we've got a row for each of the cycles. Great. And now we're going to fill this up in a for loop. So for every cycle, so that's for i is in 1 up to nt, we're going to say that the payoff trace, and this is going to be row i, because it's cycle i, is equal to the state membership and we need to pick out the state membership in cycle i. So if we check here that the cycle is the first dimension in state membership. So there we go. Matrix product with our payoffs array. And we particularly want to pick out cycle i from that. OK. And that is, believe it or not, going to do it. So let's just clear everything from our environment. So we're starting from scratch and press source. OK, so R has run all of these commands. And let's just check that the payoff trace is doing what we expect. Here we go. So we've got the costs in one column, the qualies in the next column, a row for each cycle. And we can do that matrix plot again if we want. So payoff trace. Here you can see quite clearly what's happening with costs is we've got these discontinuities in costs as those costs are changing over time. You can't really see what's happening for the qualies because they're always much, much smaller. Uh, they should really be plotted on a separate scale. Um, so we can just check that those are working OK by picking out just that second column. And here you can just about see those discontinuities where the quali weights are changing over the cycles. OK, and just like we had before, we've got this col sums uh, function, which is summing each of these columns of the payoff trace. And then we divide by the number of patients in the cohort to get the average cost and the average qualities in our model.